everybody. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am back with another little process video. Um, so many of you enjoyed the last one that I did when I did the paper piecing, so I thought I would do another paper piecing video because you guys really liked my little paper pieced mixtures that I made with the Lawn Fawn Baked with Love stamp. So I thought I would try doing another little quick process video and show you guys how I did that. So this is probably by far my favorite is this doodle bug one that I made with these cherry paper and the little red polka dots. And I also did a little paper pieced bowl. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'll also show you how to do this little cute one with the pink hearts and this little bowl. So I'll get started and just show you guys um, what I'm going to use. So again, I found this stamp the little mixer and the bowl on this Lawn Fawn Baked with Love stamp set. And this is by far one of my very favorite Lawn Fawn stamp sets. So we are going to use that. And then I'm going to be using the Doodlebug 6x6 Sweet Cakes paper pad. And this is an oldie but a goodie. This probably is about three or maybe even four years old. And I just absolutely love this paper stack. It is so, so cute, the papers that come in it. They're so bright and colorful. And you totally don't have to use them for Valentine's Day. They can just be used like for all the time. Um, I got this from scrapbook.com and I do know that they have some more because I was just on their site last night. So if you guys are interested in this paper pad, you should definitely check that site. I'll put the link for it below. So the papers that we're going to use are from that collection. We're going to use this one with the red polka dots. And this side is actually really cute. So I've been hoarding it, but it just looks so cute with the red polka dots and the cherries. So we're going to use that. Um, this will be for the second one. So I'll just set that aside, but we're going to use these little cherry ones. And then you just need some gray cardstock. This is like the basil. Um, it has the um, like the ridging or whatever on this side, but we're just going to use the smooth side. And then you just need a piece of cardstock paper. And this is just the white cardstock from the Recollections. It is not the one that is the 80 pound Copic one. Um, we're not going to be doing any Copic coloring for this project. So you just need a plain white cardstock paper. You could even just use like a plain white piece of computer paper even because we're just going to be layering it up. So we're going to start by stamping out this super cute little stamp. So first I'm going to stamp out the mixer. And I like to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. It's perfect for Copic coloring, and it's actually the only brand that I've used, and so I really, really like it. So I'm just going to stamp this little cutie up. I absolutely love this mixer. I have a KitchenAid mixer, so this is just one of my absolute favorite stamps. It is so adorable. So there's the mixer, and then I'm going to stamp out two because we're going to end up doing two of them, so I might as well just stamp them all out now. So I'm going to do two of those. And then I'm going to stamp out the bowls. I am obsessed about keeping my stamps super clean. So I'm just going to clean them off as I go along. So we are done with the little mixer for right now. And I'm going to stamp out the little bowl. And again, we're going to do two of them. Because we're going to do one cherry one and one like little heart one. So I'm going to stamp out two of those. There is going to be the cherry one. And here is going to be the heart one. Okay, so I'm just going to clean that off and then we are going to start doing our layering. So the very, I'm going to go back to the mixer, hope you guys can see okay, um, the mixer stamp and I'm just going to set this aside for right now. I'm going to put it right here and we're going to do the cherry paper. So again, this is the doodle bug paper and I'm just going to ink up my stamp and stamp it right on this super cute cherry. This is going to be for the base of the mixer. And then you can see like that. And then we're going to stamp another one on here because I want the bowl of the mixer to be this red color. And so we have that. I'm going to set that up there. And then we need the silver or like the metal of the mixer. So I'm going to stamp this on the gray one. And because we're going to do two mixers, I'm just going to stamp the other one right now while I'm waiting. There we go. So we've got the two mixers there. And actually what I'm going to do is just stamp out the other ones too while I have the stamp out. So the other one we're going to do is this pink heart. So I'm going to stamp that one as well. I might as well just do them all together. 
there's that one. And then for this pink mixer, we are going to do the bowl silver. So I am done with the mixer stamp and I'm going to get out the little bowl one. So the bowl for the pink mixer is going to, oh, sorry, we need a bowl like this. And then we also need a cherry bowl. I'm getting ahead of myself. There we go. So we've got the two bowls. And now um, for the gray mixer, we are gonna do a face on the pink one. So I'm gonna get the little face stamp off of here. And put her right there. Super cute. Okay, so we are done with the stamping now. So now we're basically just going to be doing some cutting. And for fussy cutting and paper piecing, you just need a really good pair of fussy cutting scissors. I got these off of eBay and I love them. They're just like sewing scissors. So um, if you type in sewing scissors, you should be able to find a really good pair. I've also heard a few people say that the Cricut scissors, they're like little green ones. They come in the kit for the Cricut and everyone has said those are really good too. So we're going to start out, I'm going to set the pink one aside because we're not using that yet. I'm sorry if I confused you guys when I was stamping that out. So first we're going to do the cherry. So I'm just going to get all the cherry pieces here. And this one with the face is going to be for our pink mixer. So I'm going to set that one aside too. I probably should have done that separately. I hope I didn't confuse you guys. I just thought since I had the stamp stuff out, I would just stamp it all together. So first what we're going to do is we want our mixer to be, I'll just show you this one again. So here's the one that I already made. So we want our little mixer to be having the cherries all on the base of the mixer. So I'm going to cut that out first. So I'm going to cut out the base. I absolutely love this doodle bug paper. It's just so cute and I've been hoarding it forever and the hoarding paid off because it just made the cutest little lawn fun mixers. I just really love them. They're so cute. Okay, I like to keep the black edge around there as well because that just makes it look really, really cute. So I've got that all cut out. I hope that I was in frame so you guys could see that. And now um, this part is going to be silver. So I'm going to cut this part away. And again, I'm going to keep the black. And you really want to be careful when you're cutting that you don't lose any of your pieces because that's happened to me before and then you have to start all over again. So we have the two mixer pieces. I'm just going to push these other ones aside. And I like to use glue when I am putting them together because um, I just find the ATG gun is a little bit too big and daunting for paper piecing. So I'm going to put this very first piece on here. Right on top of there. And then I'm going to glue up the other piece and add that as well. So cute! Okay, so that part's done and now we want to add the little silver spot. So using this piece we're going to cut out that middle section so that we have our little silver spot. Perfect. Now I'm going to, oh, my fingers caught my scissors. I'm going to put some glue on there and glue that right on. So easy. Paper piecing seems very tricky, but it's honestly so easy and so worth a little bit of fussy cutting. So there is that. And now we want our little polka dot bowl. So we're going to cut out the little bowl on this one. And I like to save the other pieces that I don't use for this because I can make a red mixer. I'll show you 
I have a whole little box of them here, and if you save the pieces, then you can make a red one later. So don't cut those out and throw them away because you can save this whole mixer piece and do another one when you're finished. It's addicting because you use the other pieces from all the other mixers and then you end up with like tons of them. So then you just need some glue and put that on there. Oops, I forgot the little bottom piece. That's okay, I'll just cut that out separate. Normally you'd leave that on. And then I'll just glue that. There we go. So there is our little mixer, so cute. So now we can do the bowl. And for the bowl, we are just going to cut out um, the bottom piece and the top piece and there's like a little line here and we're not going to cut that out so we just get rid of that. So I'm just going to cut out the little bowl and it's so cute to have the matching bowl and the mixer. It makes the cutest card and I just love this mixer for my project life. I do a ton of baking and I have these mixers on almost all of my project life pages and because I use different pattern papers they look like a completely different stamp so it doesn't look like I just always have this same colored image. So now for the bowl, you're just going to add some more glue and put that little cutie on there. And then um, the next part. Oops, I forgot to cut off the top. So we want to cut off that top of the bowl there. You could leave that, but I just prefer it off. And then we're just going to... Oops stuck to my finger. <laughs> Put this little piece on. And there is our bowl. So now we have our bowl and our mixer. Super cute. So now I will show you how to do this little pink one and this little pink bowl. And we already have those stamped out so we just need to cut them up. So we will just do the pink one first. So for this one, we want all this top pink part and all along here. So I'm just going to cut that out. This is another paper that I was hoarding and it is so cute. I use this on my project life for my Valentine baking and it looked adorable. I really liked it. It's so fun because you can make these little mixers for Christmas or Easter and it just really adds a lot of cuteness to your pages or even little sweet Valentine cards or if you're baking something for someone this would make a cute tag. So many possibilities and again save that little bowl because you can use it for another paper piecing mixer. And I'm trying to save the little black outline. And then I'm going to cut apart because I don't want that gray. That's where our gray is going to go and I want it to be metal so I'm cutting that. And that. So then we have those two pieces to put glue on. I hope I'm in frame and you guys can see okay. Here we go. Also, if any of you guys end up trying out the paper piecing, I would love to see pictures of it. Um, if you want to ask me for my email, I would be happy to give you my email. I would love to see the pictures. Also, I have a Facebook account. If any of you want to add me on Facebook, I would love to see your crafty creations you're making. And I also just got an Instagram account, which I've been loving Instagram. I do not know why I waited so long. So many people told me that I would like it, and I absolutely love it. I'm totally addicted to it. So if you guys have an Instagram account, I would love if you added me. It's so fun to see what everyone else is making. I will put the link for my Instagram and Facebook below. And then, okay, here is our little gray piece. So for this one, we're going to use the little bowl, and then we're also going to use the top metal piece. So I'm going to cut both of those out. Okay. And again, making sure that the little black edge is there. Oops. So I'm going to glue that piece on and you could totally use an ATG gun or um, I think some people use Tombow glue I think it's called that would probably work as well I just don't have Tombow glue and I just prefer the glue stick so 
Plus, I find the glue stick is not as expensive as some of the other adhesive products, so I like to use the glue stick. Okay, so here is our little bowl, and I'm going to glue her up. She's a girl because she has eyelashes, and she's a little cutie, patootie. Oh, so cute. So there are our two mixers. I hope it's showing good. So now we just have to do our little bowl, and then we are done. So our little bowl is over on this page. Sorry, I had it out of frame. So I'm just going to cut this out. And again, look at how much fussy cutting and paper piecing you can do with these. I am very cautious about throwing out my scraps because you can make so many cute little pieces using your scraps. And so don't throw them out because you can get a lot of use out of them, you guys. Especially Doodlebug because they have the cutest papers and the little patterns on it are so small and cute. I'm just cutting out this, and then I'm going to cut out the top. Okay, so I've got my two pieces, whoops, for the bowl. So now I'm just going to glue these little cuties on, and then I will fussy cut the rest out so you guys can see the finished bowl and mixer. And one night I crafted and made like... 30 of these little mixers and bowls. I had so much fun making them and I've already used a ton of them up on my project life and I've also used them in my planner. So here is the finished mixers and bowls. I think that they turned out really cute. So I'm just gonna fussy cut them out so you guys can see. And I don't have um, a die cutting machine but if you did have a die cutting machine, you could totally put these through with your dies. I just prefer to fussy cut them out. I really like fussy cutting. Um, I do not know why, but I've always just really enjoyed cutting. And so I don't mind just fussy cutting them out. And I would rather save the money to buy more stamps than to spend it on the dies because I love stamps recently and I've been wanting to collect so many of them. So I'm just cutting out the little mixer. And, oh, my stomach's hungry. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it rumbling in the video. So here is my cute little mixer. And there we go. So there is the little mixer. And there is the little bowl. And now I'll cut out this little heart one. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love if you gave me a thumbs up so I know you like it. And I will try to make more of these little process videos. I had never done a process video until just recently. This is my second one. And I had so much fun doing it, so I think I'll keep doing them. And um, if you guys haven't subscribed, I would love if you did. And I always love reading your comments, so um, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you think about the paper piecing. And I hope some of you will try it out. So... Here is this little cherry one and the little bowl. And then here is the little heart one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please try it out. It's so fun. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.